guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a mod spotlight for the Tomb Kings. So we are not going to be doing turn by turn, we're not going to be having a look at how to conquer the map, but rather uh, I've got 66 mods on. We're going to have a look through as many mods as we can over maybe one or two episodes and we're going to start off with Spell Browser. So you'll have a look here, you've got a lot more stuff here. So one of them is the mod configuration tool, which we'll go into a bit of depth. But I just want to go over the spell browser. Now, for those of you thinking, how on earth do I figure out what a spell does? How much damage it does? You know, how effective it is? This is the tool for you. So for the Tomb Kings, I can go to Lord of Nehikara. You know, I can select law spells or character specific, and then it will tell me if I go to, uh, let's say, the incantation of righteous smiting. It will tell me the cost, how many turns or uh, seconds before I can cast it again. It tells me the target. You know, how does it work? What's my range? It tells you the cast time, it tells you the, the damage. So this is really, really nifty. Uh, so we'll have a look for one that actually does damage. So you can see here, causes damage, and it's 6 damage per 1 second to 18 entities. So it doesn't look like a lot, but uh, when you're playing, you've got to remember a lot of your units only have probably a couple of hundred health. So that's something pretty nifty. So this is accurate for every team. So you can have a look. It shows you everything. Shows you the effect. How cool is that? So you can do it for all the teams. So you can do it for Skaven. You can do it for even modded teams. So for example, Law of Metal, Law of Shadows. That's all units that uh, we, we get from other mods, but the spell still looks the same. So you can have a look, how good is that? So we'll find one that is particularly easy. Where's the fire? There we go. Okay, so the fireballs, you can have a look, launches 30 projectiles, each dealing 48 magic damage, but they detonate for 90. So you can see that's how the spell looks. This is the turns, this is the timer, and you can toggle upgraded spell. So you can see it only gives you the one option. So if this had three levels, it would give you one or three. But again, if it affected the actual time, you can see here it affected the power cost, and you can see increased number of projectiles and wider strike area. But for going that, if it didn't change anything here, it wouldn't tell you. So that's pretty nifty. So that is Spell Browser. This is the Steam version for the Vanilla Damage Tooltips. So you can just go into your workshop. It's in Thunder's workshop. And this is quite up to date. It shows you all the different spells, you know, as we just went in in-game. And if you have a look here, there's 1,423 tooltips that he's added. So this is for spell books, the legendary lords, the unit abilities, army abilities. He's really went crazy. Um, so this is a really good mod. I do recommend it for anyone who actually wants to be a spellcaster. This is the thing for you. So another mod you may or may not notice is souls. Now you might be thinking, where did my gold go? Well, uh, we are actually playing with a mod that makes the currencies a bit more law friendly. So for the Tomb Kings we get souls. So you'll notice, nice white texture um, goes up and down. Uh, so this is quite nifty and this applies to every team. So some teams get a crew, some teams get teeth, uh, it all depends on what team you're playing. So as you can see, this is Miss Lirigel's currencies all in one. 
I'm, I'm hoping he's French, otherwise that's just a very... I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, and you can see here, it gives you all the different teams. Each one's got a unique uh, little logo, and it's pretty nifty. It just gives it a little bit more immersion. Um, so yeah, you can see it affects all the big teams. So Tomb Kings get Soul, Norska get Plunder, Vampire Coast gets Booty, uh, Bretonia gets the Golden EQ. It should be Ikru, but that's that's cool enough. So this mod works quite well. So if you're looking for that little bit of immersion, I do recommend Currencies All in One. And uh, I have updated my mod list as well for the Tomb Kings, so you'll find it all in my mod list as well. Now I did mention quickly we were going to look at the mod configuration tool. So for those of you, this is something you will probably never use, uh, to be honest. So when you click in here, any mod that is um, accepted by the mod configuration tool reborn, it will come in here. So here you can see you can enable script logging, uh, you can open the file for the log and see what's going on in the, uh, the Lua. So this is Lua script, just in case you were wondering. And you can see you've got the force configuration, you know, you've got the Tomb King restrictions. So it's very in-depth. If you're thinking, you know, do I want a force confederation? If I click Tomb Kings, what will happen? So this will tell you. It disables law-based restrictions. So you can make or break the game. We've got the higher tier starting capitals. So for example, players, we will get a higher capital than the AI. So this is quite a nice little thing. And you'll notice there's no log file because it's not supported. And he just says, oh well. So for, for main factions, you can set what tier you want to start. For players, you can set your faction and same for horde units but you don't have to set it up Mixu's legendary lords are here but it's not currently working with this one but again you don't have to worry about it it's it's working believe you me it's working now another nice one if you guys are running on a huge screen like a 4k screen or, or something ridiculous I do envy you but you can actually adjust how your game looks so if we were to let's say click here you can change how big or small this looks you can change how this looks how all your little goodies look by going in here and then you can set adjust the recruitment UI scale so you can make it bigger you can make it smaller you can go either way you want you can also adjust the size of character skills so actual in battle you can and it, it does say listen only do this if your horizontal resolution is above 1920 so 1920 is going this way and 1082 is going this way just so you know so it's just one of those things now I do have one that is upgrade units um, so for example, I could go to my Tomb Kings, upgrade my archers to their next level. And if we selected unit caps, then the game will enforce. Let's just go to here. So you can see I've got 0 and 4. If I were to upgrade it and I didn't have the unit caps checked, I could end up with more than what I'm allowed. So you could break the game um, if you want to play it like that. It does really depend how you want to go about it. So using the cheat menu, I call it the cheat menu, we can add experience for our army. So we just click on the army, we go here, we say add AXP 7, we press OK, and now when you come back, they are unit rank 7. So what we can do, you notice there's a little star. This means they can be upgraded. So I can change my units to Skeleton Warriors. I can change them to Tomb Gold Guards with Halberds, which costs a bit more by the way. Or I can upgrade them using my Canopic Jars. Now you want to be careful, when you upgrade it, 
if this doesn't fit, it will throw it away. So you want to upgrade it first to Tumging Hull Guards, and there they are. Now you can upgrade them further, so if he's rank 5 you can go again, and you'll notice he's got 36. Watch what happens if I go again. So add AXP 7, press this, we'll refresh it. Now, if you do it again, he's got 10. So he's going to keep losing stuff until, you know, he gets about one. Then, you know, you've only got one unit in the squad. So there's quite a number of units that this works on. So we can change it between halberds and just standard sword infantry. We can change these to skeleton wiring. So again, this is the same thing where instead of having a shield, you can go to spearmen. Uh, these guys... Nehikari Warriors can go to Tomb Guards, so same as these guys. Now not every unit can do it, but there is some teams that have better um, capabilities on that one. So it looks a little bit deceiving, but this is the Upgrade Units mod uh, for pretty much any race. It doesn't have every single unit covered, but there is alternatives to it. So you can see, we'll zoom in and this is what the upgrade icon looks like it'll cost you X amount it'll cost you rank and can I go let's see there we go so once he's upgraded it he loses half of his health and there's the new unit so it gets upgraded so that's a nice nifty little thing and he hasn't got the currencies mod so you can see that's still the normal one so this is from Prop Joe, um, quite a uh, very nice mod. You can go into here and see every unit that is available. It has some options in the configuration tool, so they make it very easy for you. If you click on this, it will send you to the configuration tool. If you have SFO, you can click on this, and then it will show you how to upgrade your units in SFO. You can use this one which there's a variety of units that don't actually fit and then he's made a script that will actually uh, check the unit, see if there's an upgrade, put a cost on uh, you know and he does this for quite a number of them so this is a nice little mod to upgrade units and on that note let's actually have a look at the console so this is your chat menu see how it pops up if I were to say add AXP6, you see it doesn't really do anything. It didn't change any of my units. Um, yeah, so what we can do is we can press Y. We can go here and say add XP31000. Click on our hero and press OK. Now look at that. We've unlocked all these uh, Regiment of Renown, we go back in, yep, thanks, we don't really care. And you'll notice we gave him 31,000. So I can go into my hero, I can give him all the skills, and you can cheat for a lot of stuff. You can cheat for skill points, you can cheat for health. You know, there's, there's so many things you can do with this. So one of the things you can do, if your campaign gets stuck, which is... Oh, if you're anything like me, it happens a lot. And someone said, I want to confederate with you. You press confederate, yes, nothing happens. I'd be spewing. So what we can do is we can click on the place that confederated with us. We can go in here and say, confederate. Now, normally, it has to be owned by someone. So you can also say, oh, have a look how it goes away. So, so when your little console goes away, just press Y to open up again. And you can say, give region. Click on the region you want to give. And it becomes yours. So you can do the same with army. Um, you can't do it for army that's of a different team. It will just despawn. So now you can have the place. Um, and let's say he had 30,000 gold, you know he's got lots of money, he confederates 
you do the cheat to give yourself his region but you lost all the money I uh, know so you can say give gold 31,000 and we've given ourselves 31,000 soul so remember that soul is the same thing as gold so it's just changing it uh, so this is the console mod now you can do this for a variety of stuff and I mean the possibilities are absolutely endless so this is the steam store page for the console commands for the modding tool we've got ourselves the enter the matrix we have the where the little thing pops up so you can see he puts give gold he gives it a nice highlight for you uh, so that's quite nice of him and he gives you pretty much every command you can think of under the sun give gold fog of war uh, you know restore your movement points you can add units you can add units of a particular type you can add rank you can add experience to your character you can set anything another another one if you are just wanting to cheat or uh, get to a particular point you can go region and this will give you 1000 growth horde growth and one turn build speed to only the player so if you uh, just want to get back to yourself that's not a bad one so when I do some of my spotlights if I uh, accidentally find a broken mod I want to go back just 10 turns I'll load put my region get to where I want to be and then I turn region off and then you know I try not to uh, cheat myself I don't have to anymore but that's something you want to do now if for example uh, you want to kill an army you can use the command kill so this will wound or kill an entire army or hero you can have plus two thousand percent research speed there is there is so many things you can even do your unique uh, pooled resource for each different team so canopic jobs you can use that you can give yourself scaven food I've tried this and I still lose so you know what good good luck uh, here's all the commands relating to diplomacy so again this guy is pretty good yeah maybe be a patron of his you know if you want to help him out and this guy gives you everything so this is the console commands modding tool one of the mods that we want to have a look at and he's also one of my subscribers he features in two of my videos already is Edgy Mook and he makes quite a number of mods for the Tomb Kings so uh, you can guess it's his favorite team and one of them is the Victory Conditions so he makes a lot of changes to the short and long term conditions uh, so he's custom built these things and there's four mods that you have to download to make the uh, victory conditions for the Tomb Kings work which we'll have a look into so as you can see this is the sub mod for the Tomb Kings Extended uh, so what you'll need is you'll need the Tomb Kings Extended the original mod you need Mixus Unlocker if you don't have it I don't know what you're playing with but please use Mixus Unlocker you need the victory conditions overhaul 2 framework so this is just the framework, it doesn't add anything the modders actually use it to make new content then you need the main mod so this as you can see here it changes the victory conditions and the chapter objectives so it's quite a nice little mod now you can see Ajimuk he makes quite a number of mods you know and he's got quite a number of mod packs so we'll just have a look at his original mod you can see uh, this mod it changes all the teams so he adds new mechanics he really goes through the unique skills so you'll notice let me just go back to my game where if I go on my hero come here hero, I right click on him no I don't want to right click I'll go here you can have a look at the skills so a lot of these skills has been reworked including these by Ajimuk so uh, you've got to give him big credit if you are playing with his mods he makes the team a heck of a lot better so as you can see this is Ajimuk's workshop 
Um, so if you like a mod author and he makes a lot of things for your favorite team, you can simply go onto one of his mods and then you can click on here, you can go to here or you can go to his workshop and this will show you all of his items he's created. So, you know, you've got the Tomb Kings Extended, so Javelin, Nehikara, you know, you've got Eternal Slaves, his Extended VFX, he gives you things for the Amazons, his Royal Barks, you know, he's got the Victory Conditions and the Extended, so this is the big mod. So, whenever you're in doubt what mods fit with something, it's always a good idea to check the workshop page of your favorite developer, and then you can see what fits and if your developers actually are right you'll see here they give you so much detail and attention you know for who who makes what who they thanking overviews of the mods they go really crazy so you can spend hours overlooking these sort of things but this is the ideal way you want to have a look at the mod you select if it's the nice units you want the uh, added conditions then you go download it and you have a play with it so this is another nice mod I've been playing with, which is the Tomb Kings Stats Overhaul, plus the Tyler's Tomb Kings. Um, depending on the load order, uh, you know, some will override others, so uh, you just got to be careful of that sort of thing. But what this does is actually change the Tomb Kings to match the law. So they get tireless and unbreaking, and a little bit of overhaul, so, uh, you know, there's a whole variety of things you can have a look through and it gives, oh wow, a million and ten screenshots which is quite nice so he shows you the unbreakable he shows you the perfect vigor and all he says in this is they don't suffer fatigue because they're undead how can you suffer fatigue if you got no you know, it, it, it's uh, not very law friendly so this is quite a nice one to work with if you are playing the Tomb Kings now there is another uh, two mods that I want to just quickly show you guys about which work quite well together is the Regiment of Renowns Can Gain Experience mod so if you have expended or expanded uh, Regiment of Renowns you can see I've got that so we've got you know our normal ones the uh, quest one and then these ones what you can do as well some of them come ranked 9 which is great but others do not and you'll notice some of them cannot gain experience so one of the mods that we have if I hover over this unit they can actually gain experience so they can become rank 9 so uh, this makes your units come late game a bit more useful and, and you can see this is sort of what we were talking about so he adds this XP bar that's all he does here so it's just a quality of life mod he just enables the XP for the Regiment of Renowns um, so this is quite a nice little thing he shows you you know bits and pieces compatibility and of course do yourself a favor use Cadrian's mod manager he even makes it nice and colorful for you so this is why uh, we make these sort of videos so that you can understand why the mod developers demand or give you the at least a chance to say look do yourself a favor use this or you're making life hard for yourself so just in case you were wondering where we get all these delightfully fantastic and epic regiment of renowned units uh, we get them all from a compilations mod pack um, I don't use the compilation just because if you do subscribe to it uh, all the teams have access to these units so if I'm only playing the Tomb Kings, I just want myself to have them as uh, I do play the campaign with a bit of difficulty from all the mods. So it's hard enough without giving the AI, you know, access to some ridiculously, you know, Tomb Scorpions or, you know, even Necrophants or something like that. So I'll just show you the compilation. So this is the compilation and it's updated for Warden and the Paunch. Uh, you don't have to worry if it's not you can always check to see if it's broken but 99% of the time it'll work um, so this is the Regiments of Renowned compilation now 
you can see all the guys that are you know doing all this together and hate criminal he's the one that does quite a bit for the tomb kings so you can have a look at he's they show you all the things vampire counts beast man warriors of chaos they go through all of that things um, and if we go now you can see his other regiment of renowns here he's got a whole series so if we were to press back now this is for the tomb kings now you can see this is included in the compilation it shows you what they've added gives you a bit of lore you know it's uh, it's quite nice it gives you a nice little thing and in Cadrian's mod manager it gives you the similar symbol so it will show you you know this is this is for the tomb kings makes it nice and simple for you because you don't want to have to go and dig through and say oh what's this for they always give you as much hints as possible on how to do certain things or even what it is now as you're progressing through the campaign you'll notice uh, if you're anything like me you want to defend yourself because uh, you don't want to be spending all your army points just defending yourself and only sending one group out you want to make war not love so what we've got is Trebor's garrison overhaul and this adds garrisons but meaningful garrisons so you can see here it adds archers, spearmen gives public order gives experience but it has a maintenance cost so be careful uh, when you're doing these sort of things but you'll see it gives you access to special abilities it adds walls it's a pretty good thing so they are a little bit dear but um, it is very well worth it to play with Trevor's Garrison Overhaul I have been playing with a couple of them but I think this is the best one so far that I've been working so you can see um, here's Trevor's Garrison Overhaul now in my old pack I was playing with this I've now moved over to Zorba's Greater Garrisons and again if you want to see what is in there you just say open via Steam and it will show you a very nice delightful what goes on so it shows you you know you've got a bit of extra units now it gives walls better heroes you know so that's quite nice and if we go to Trebors let it load he gives you a lot of stats as well and yeah he just upgrades his the garrison size effectively so it just depends who or what you uh, like playing with but I like uh, Zorba's which is pretty good for now so guys um, when you are playing with mods we're just gonna do a quick once over on how to play with mods if you decide you like having buildings like you know Zorba's garrisons additional units, so acolytes of Petra, Colossus, and you can tell they're modded units because it doesn't come up with a uh, little page thing. If you decide you like that sort of thing, you can simply go to your Steam, go to your Total War Warhammer 2, go to your workshop. Now, you can go most popular or most subscribed, and uh, you can just pick a time on, on things. and you can select what mods you want. So if you want the UI modding framework, you click on it, you go subscribe, and if you like them, you love them, give them a thumbs up and a favorite. And once it's downloaded, you want to get yourself Cadrian's Mod Manager. Remember, version 1.8.10 is the latest. It will automatically find your mods, it will automatically put them in a default profile and you can see I've got a heck of a lot of profiles here now I can toggle all or toggle none and you are left with you start with this so what you want to do is go to your launcher for your actual game disable the mods you come in here as Mr. Cajun said look over here this nice big section here 
make sure it's disabled in the CA mod manager before you press launch here. So if you decide you want to play the Tomb Kings, you just go okay, I've got to rename it. Now it pops up here. So you've selected all your mods, you're gonna play your game, you have to sort by file name. So you click sort once. Now it's correct. It's all in the correct order. So these are top priority, mid priority, and then normal priorities. So this is quite nice. You've decided you've got 65 mods. You're good to go, but you're worried. What happens if it's orange? Now it says out of date, but they still work. Now I'll show you some of them that still work. Uh, where's no extra upkeep still works. It just depends how much they change the game code. So for me, I have not had one break. Uh, I did have some initially on my first Tomb Kings, but as you find them, it's easy to diagnose. You can simply search the discussion and you can find that sort of thing. So you want to play your Tomb Kings. You press launch, you go to your game, and it's just a case of playing your team. There's nothing to it. If it adds an extra lord, so we'll just go back to the main menu, you will find them on the main menu. And if that extra lord requires Mixus Unlocker or you know whichever one it is, you can I easily tell it is an extended lord because most of the time they do not have an animated GIF. So this is an extended lord, same with this guy, same with this guy. So here's three extras. Now, depending on who makes them and how good they are, it's very well balanced. So this guy gives you extra income from mines, weapon strength for all types of Neokara, and uh, it's really good. So you can see here, this one's busted. He's not... Um, an extended lord but at the same time I don't have the chaos so he's simply just an extended unit same with these two so it's always a good idea when you play with mods go slow go steady just add a couple test see if they work add a couple test see if they work um, so just on that note if you add a new mod while you've got Cadrians open, it will not automatically update. So when you add a mod, you want the building progression icons, you subscribe, but you've got Cadrians open, it will not pop up. You have to close the launcher and then open it again and it will come up. Now where is this one? You can do refresh, um, but I have, whether or not it's a glitch, I have seen two mods just not come up, whether it be Steam or the mod manager not working together. Um, so you can do it this way. You launch a game, and you're playing modded Total War. So on that note, thanks for watching the modded spotlight. Uh, this is my channel. Feel free to subscribe. Uh, I've got quite a bit of content on here. There's there's more always being added, and uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, and I will continue to make some great content for you guys. Thanks for watching.